Welcome to another salesing.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the relevant definitions and using animated scenarios with questions and answers. In a previous video, we covered rule 11, which applies when boats are on the same tack and overlapped. Rule 12 applies when boats are on the same tack and not overlapped. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 12 is in part two of the rules, which covers situations when boats meet or are about to meet. The preamble to part two says that they apply between boats that are sailing in or near the racing area and intend to race, are racing, or have been racing. Section A of part two describes which boat has the right of way. If you have right of way, other boats are required to keep clear of you. This doesn't mean you can do anything you want. Sections B, C, and D of Part 2 give limitations on right-of-way boats. Here is Rule 12. Take a moment to read it. The rule says that when boats are on the same tack and not overlapped, a boat clear astern shall keep clear of a boat clear ahead. As always, we need to look at the words in italics, which have specific definitions in the racing rules. We've covered these definitions in previous videos. You can look them up on salesing.com or in the rule book. Let's refresh our memory on the definition of, over, of overlap or overlapped. Take a moment to read the highlights of the definition. Remember that if you're behind a line touching the aftmost, aftmost portion of the other boat, you're clear astern and the other boat is clear ahead. If you're not clear astern, the boats are overlapped. Also remember that two boats are also overlapped when a boat between them overlaps both. So in the picture, gray is clear ahead of all the other boats and yellow, blue, and green are overlapped with each other. Let's take a look at three basic Rule 12 scenarios. Here's the first scenario. Watch what happens. Blue and yellow are sailing downwind. Yellow overtakes blue and contacts blue's transom. Which boat should promptly take penalty turns? Yellow should take a penalty. Both boats are on the same tack, starboard. The boats are not overlapped. Therefore, Rule 12 applies. Yellow is clear astern and must keep clear of blue. Let's watch the next scenario. Blue and yellow are sailing upwind. Blue hits a large wave and drops her main sheet, causing her to slow down. Yellow contacts Blue's transom. Blue alleges Yellow broke Rule 12. Yellow alleges Blue broke Rule 16, changing course by slowing down abruptly. Which boat or boats should promptly take penalty turns? Yellow should take a penalty. Both boats are on the same tack, starboard. The boats are not overlapped, therefore Rule 12 applies. Yellow is clear astern and must keep clear of blue. Did blue break Rule 16 by changing course abruptly? We'll cover this rule later, but Rule 16.1 states that when a right-of-way boat changes course, she shall give the other boat room to keep clear. So, did blue change course? U.S. Sailing Appeals Question Number 33 states that changing course refers to changing direction, not speed. So blue did not change course. Yellow was following too close to be able to keep clear. Here's the next scenario. Four boats are approaching the starting line, all on starboard tack, before the start. Blue overtakes yellow and contacts her transom. Yellow alleges blue broke Rule 12. Blue alleges she had nowhere to go. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? Blue should take a penalty. Blue is on the same tack and clear astern and therefore must keep clear of yellow. What should blue have done to avoid fouling yellow? 
Blue should have turned above green before location 1. Putting yourself in a position with no way out doesn't allow you to be exonerating for following someone else. Often you need to think pretty far ahead. In summary, just to remind you, there are only four right-of-way rules. Rule 10 on opposite tacks. Rule 11 on the same tack overlapped. Rule 12 on the same tack not overlapped and Rule 13 while tacking. When you meet another boat, only one of these right-of-way rules will apply. Finally, if you're the right-of-way boat, you are entitled to sail your course unless any of the rules of Part 2, Sections B, C, or D limit your actions. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.